So if you've got a student that's gonna be attending University of Georgia, does it make more sense for you to pay rent for four years or buy a property and rent to your student's roommates for a few years? So that's what I wanna go through in, in this video today. I'm Justin Woodall, uh, team leader of Woodall Realty Group at eXp Realty. And we, we've been selling real estate in Athens for quite a while. We're familiar with the student market and uh, we also do property management. So I wanna give you kind of a breakdown of what it might look like if you just go rent something versus uh, buying a property in Athens. So anything for a student that you uh, are gonna rent, you're probably gonna be looking at uh, paying rent somewhere in the neighborhood of 600 to 800 per bedroom for a student to rent something in Athens. Now there are some possibly some cheaper options, but there's not gonna be much. That's, that's kind of what you're gonna be looking at for something decent for a student, which translates to 1,200 to 1,600 for a two bedroom unit. And I'm gonna use a two bedroom as an example today. If you amplify this out on a three or a four bedroom uh, scale, you're, you're renting to three or four or two or three roommates as opposed to just one. So the numbers are gonna be different, but I'm just, today my effort is, is really just to give you a scenario and give you something to think about. And if you think this is something you wanna explore, reach out to me and my team. We can break these numbers down for your specific property, your specific situation, and show you exactly uh, what, what things are looking like. So, and, and if, so let's just say if you were looking at buying a two bedroom, two bath condo in Athens, Prices are kind of crazy right now. Uh, a few years ago, you could buy them for less, but you're probably looking at spending somewhere between 175 and 250 uh, for a two bedroom. Again, depending on the location, depending on the age, depending on uh, what you buy. So, but this would be potentially a student type community uh, close to campus or East Athens, somewhere like that. Uh, so let's just assume that you find something that you buy for 200,000 and the bank's gonna want 40% down, so you're gonna mortgage 160,000. So that's what I'm gonna run my numbers off of. And just, so let's just assume a 4.5% interest rate. Again, that may vary depending on uh, the time that you're watching this video. But if you do all of that, you're looking at basically about $810 per month in principal and interest. Then you gotta add taxes and insurance to that as well. Um, so I'm gonna just, for easy numbers, I'm gonna just round that up. Let's just say your payment all in is a thousand dollars per month. So you're looking at twelve to sixteen hundred to rent something. You got a payment for a thousand. So if the roommate's paying, you know, seven hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, then that's going to offset your monthly payment that you're making here. Um, so that's the first benefit. Uh, the next benefit to owning property is depreciation. So you're going to be able to write this off your taxes. And I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax accountant. Not a tax attorney. So consult, consult your CPA on this, but when you have an investment property, rental property, you can depreciate that property. And the depreciation is over 27 and a half years, so that amounts to 3.63% per year. So you can't depreciate the land, so you gotta take that out. So depending on where the, your CPA, you, know, you, can't deduct the, you can't depreciate the full 200, it may be 180, maybe 170, 160, something like that. Uh, but as that depreciates, you're gonna be somewhere in the six to 7,000 dollar range uh, in depreciation. So this is gonna come off your taxes. That means if you make $100,000 a year, you're gonna be able to say 100,000 minus seven, I only made 93, so you're only paying taxes on 93 this year. In addition to that, you're gonna be able to write off the interest. Now the interest in uh, is gonna be around $7,000 per year. So of your $810 a month or your thousand dollar a month payment with, with PITI, principal interest tax and insurance, your principal interest of that 800 per month, about 7,000 per year is gonna be, especially the first year and it's gonna decrease each year thereafter, but it's gonna be an interest. So that can also come off of your taxes. So that's, that's less money that you're having to pay tax on with your income, so it's gonna offset that. So that's a benefit. Then in addition to that, uh, you also have principal reduction. So you borrowed $160,000, about 7,000 per year is gonna to go towards taxes. The other portion is going to go towards principal pay down. So over a four year period, it's gonna be roughly $11,000 that is gonna be less that you owe. So instead of owing, after the four year period, instead of owing 160, you're gonna owe 149. So 
basically, um, so now you owe 149,000. So when you get ready to sell it, or even if you don't sell it, you've gained equity in that. So you took your $40,000 and turned it into equity here. So let's just also, so the, the last part is appreciation. Now appreciation over the last few years has been absolutely nuts in Athens. Uh, but let's just say we assume over the next four years an average appreciation of about 5%. And if that's the case, you bought a $200,000 condo times 5%, that's 40,000 over a four year period. So that condo is now that you paid 200 for is now worth 240,000. You owe 149 on it. So your total equity in that property is $91,000. So you've taken $40,000 investment and had a roommate offset the majority of this payment each month because they're paying you somewhere in this range. And so your students actually living for less than they would be paying rent. You've turned $40,000 into $91,000 in equity and you've been able to uh, take about a $14,000 deduction off your taxes each year. So if that's something you think you'd be interested in exploring more and you have a student, uh, a, a child or a grandchild coming to University of Georgia in Athens and you're thinking about, hey, we might buy a condo, we might buy a house, they've got some friends, we're gonna let the friends pay rent to us, uh, that would be something that th in this scenario looks good to you. Reach out to us, um, you can find us online, you can find us our information below this video and let us know if we can help you find a property. My team and I will sit down with you and we'll, we'll go through these numbers exactly with you. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, not a CPA, not a tax accountant, uh, but this is a very, very similar scenario could look very realistic for you if you buy a property instead of renting a property while your student is in Athens. And then at this point, you can decide to sell that and make that money or you continue to rent it to someone else. Your payment's a thousand, but you're renting it from up here and you're making a little bit of money each month, you still get the tax benefits. So owning real estate's a good thing. We're big believers in that. And again, if we can do anything to help you, reach out to us. If this has been an informative video, comment below, like it, share it, and uh, we hope to talk to you soon.